Say what's cracking, YouTube? It's your boy, 16 to life, and I'm back like I'm on a pro violation. Yard down. And for those of y'all that's new to my page, in 1994, I got arrested. I eventually was sentenced to 16 years plus life, and I served 24 years straight in the California prison system. During those times, I accumulated some good stories and insight on prison, and I'm going to share some with y'all today, man. Let's hop right up into this video, man. Now, look, I guarantee and I promise y'all, right, for the longest, for the longest, I had been thinking about doing the video, and the title of the video is Dubs a Racist, right? Now, to keep it 100 uh, let me start the video off by saying this, right? Well, no, I'm I'm going to do this, right? To keep it 100, the reason why I didn't write because to even potentially associate somebody's name with something like, is is this dude a racist or not? It's, it's something that's, um, you know, it's something that I wasn't necessarily sold on doing 100% though, right? But I often run across people, man, people who recognize me from, from doing YouTube, and they asked me that, man. I've, I've honestly ran across no less than seven or eight people that asked me, uh, do I think Dubs is a racist? Now, I, uh, the last dude I ran across, I believe, I believe in, and I may have his name wrong, was a brother named Twin, a Damu up out of uh, San Diego. I ran across him at a swap meet. And, uh, you know, we chopped it up a couple times. And, you know, each time we passed each other, he pulled me over and asked me a question or two. And that was one of the questions that he had. Like I said, um, that question is often asked, uh, often asked by me, right? And so I want to start the video off honestly by saying this. This is just my opinion, right? I do not know Dubs personally outside of the few conversations that we had, right? And so uh, in my honest opinion... I'm going to honestly say that, no, I don't believe Dove is Dove is racist, right? To me, um, our conversations, our talks were um, genuine. And, you know, I'll get into what I think about him a little bit. But like I say, I don't know him well. I don't, you know, outside of the few conversations that we had, um, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't know Dove's, right? But this is one of the reasons why I say that Dove's is not a racist, right? First and foremost, right, Dubs reached out to me at a time when we didn't even know each other, just from probably seeing each other on YouTube, right? Dubs gave me some very extreme, useful information on how to um, boost my channel and do certain things on my channel that will definitely have you making more money, you know? So now, if Dubs was a racist, he wouldn't have shared that game with me, first and foremost, right? Um, that That would almost be... That would almost be tantamount to me calling a dude from the Ku Klux Klan. Knowing that this dude is a Ku Klux Klan member and sharing some information with him that would make him have financial, uh, that would make him more financial and successful in his endeavors, right? So, um, to me, that's flat out crazy, right? So, if Doves was a racist, why would he call and share that information with me, right? That's that's just, that's just in, you know, in my humble opinion. Also, uh, another thing Doves did maybe about two or three years ago, right, it was around Christmas, he reached out to me, he said, hey, chill, you know, um, I'm sending out a Christmas greetings to, you know, to all YouTubers that want to be involved, and, uh, you know, if you want to do it, hey, shoot a little video, and uh, I'll put it up, you know, I shot the video, he he put it up, so on and so forth, right, so, you know, I'm, I'm gonna keep it real, like, you guys already know, man, uh, I believe I've done on been on here long enough for you guys to, to see my integrity and my and my character right i've done 24 years straight i have definitely been around some racist uh um south siders right i've definitely been around some brothers who don't like mexicans i mean you know it, it is what it is right um one thing in particular comes to mind i was on a level two one time it uh level two is dorm living so you kind of like living in these almost like uh bunk beds right and you know so of course in the course of being in the bed or whatever, you know, sometimes your hand might fall out the bed. There was a there was a black dude from up north, right? And his next door neighbor, because now when you when you in dorm living, you know, you're now the person on the same same bed as you is gonna be of your race, but the person right next to you, he could be he could be white, he could be Asian, he could be uh, Mexican, he could be anything, right? So in this particular incident, the dude, the black dude who was his arm was sleep over, it was in the space. You know, because you have a you have a space known as the driveway, which is basically it's the space where you enter. The right side may be yours and the left side is for your neighbor, you know, depending on how it's worked out. Right. But anyway, so um, 
the black dude, his arm was falling into the space of the white dude. I mean, of the Mexican dude. Now, had that have been me, I would have overlooked that, man. The dude is asleep. The dude is not in control of his arm. He's not intentionally doing it. But this Mexican dude had an issue with it, right? And he went and got at some of his people who got at some of the blacks. Now, in my mind, that dude clearly was racist. He was he was trying to, he was, he was, he was looking to, to, push an issue right simply because this dude was black because i am i'd be willing to give my life right now to this day i'm sure if that dude was another mexican dude one of his peoples he would have just said hey homie move your arm or he may not even said that you know what i'm saying so you i have ran across um dudes who were clearly racist you know i ran across brothers who didn't like mexicans right to keep it 100 man um you know every everybody's gonna have they everybody's gonna have their own opinion you know um now um uh, like I said, had, had if Dubs was racist, why even reach out to a, a individual who's obviously black like myself? Why even reach out to him and say, "Hey, chill, um, come do this, uh, come do this Christmas, come do this Christmas greetings things with me"? You know, if Dubs is a racist, he has to be the most calculated, intelligent, um, uh, uh, curtain pulling. You know what I'm saying? Curtain pulling racist. I mean, that's just too much. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm gonna reach out to this dude, man, to uh. Cause he's black and you know, it, that's just, that's just too much, man. If, if you are racist, you don't want certain individuals looking at you, watching you. You don't want to collaborate. You don't want to have nothing to do with certain individuals, right? You know, um, so like I say, I don't believe he's racist now, you know, some people may believe and I've seen, I don't, I don't watch dubs a whole lot, right? Um, because I'm just doing my YouTube and, and, and that gets time consuming, you know, so, uh, I don't watch a lot of, a lot of other YouTubers unless I'm trying to react or looking to, to react to their story sometime based on the nature of the, of the title, right? So I have watched Dubs from time to time. Now, in my opinion, right, Dubs, he has some things and his stories are his stories, but he has some things that definitely I don't agree with that definitely make me say, you know, okay, you know, and, but by a person, I think it's easier for me to see what I feel are sometimes contradictions or, or, you know, things I can point out, like, look here, look, look, you know, these things don't match up. Right. But it's a, when a person does that, it is a, it is a slippery slope. Right. Because unfortunately, man, we have a lot of dudes that's free. A lot of black dudes, a lot of Mexican dudes. They like to watch these YouTube channels and then get overly involved or overly upset when they hear what goes on in prison if they feel it paints their uh, race in a negative light or if their race gets the short end of the stick. I mean, you know what? Man, in prison, you're going to win some, you're going to lose some, regardless of who you are, you know? Um, so, you know, I've heard Dubs say some things, man. You know, okay, Dubs kind of reminds me of, at times, of, let's just say, a, a, a dude... A Laker fan, man. You know, now um I watch the Lakers and I try to watch everything and do everything with my mind and not with my heart. You know, there would be times there would be fans every now and then that say, Oh man, we getting ready to win we getting ready to win the championship this year when the Lakers didn't have a chance in hell, you know. Sometimes people are gonna root for their for their team to the point where they're gonna let ignorance override intelligence i've been a laker fan since 1977 76 somewhere around there right but if the lakers is playing somebody and i don't think they're gonna win i'm betting against who i think is gonna win man kobe and shaq ain't supposed to send me no no money up in here if, if i lose my soups and shit so you know what i'm saying that would be just like okay let's just say like man my mom man you know my mom is about she's in her 70s right if my mom woke up one day and told me she was getting ready to fight Mike Tyson, I would help her train. I would root for her. I would try to work out a a, 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 a plan for her to eat right. But God damn it, I'm going to root for my mama, but I'm going to bet on Mike Tyson. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's be let's be uh let's use our brains here, right? And so at times, you know, um, I'm not saying that he is, but at times, you know, you run across people who are like that, right? They will let their biased um feelings dictate what they say what they do so on and so forth right like i said dubs has he had i've heard him mention some things for an individual like myself that i have done time it sounds a bit outlandish yes at times does he seem he does he team does he team to does he seem to you know uh favor his people in stories in my opinion 100 percent, right i remember a time okay i've done a video right and, and a lot of you guys misinterpreted what I was trying to say in the video. The name of that video is 
It was something like Serenios have blacks in fear. And it had two black dudes like this praying. But then right up under that, it said exposing myths of the California prisons or something like that. So what I was doing in that video, I was going and taking things that he said in the video or other people said that does not go with the narrative that is often painted against blacks. Now, I use the word of, um, I use the words of either Southsiders or former Southsiders to, to combat some of the narratives that's always painted against blacks. And you know who got mad at me? A lot of Mexicans got mad at me. One dude even told me he unsubscribed to my channel because I'm trying to make Mexicans look bad. How am I trying to make Mexicans look bad when I'm just using the words that other Mexicans said? I not only did I use the words, I went I went I went further than using the words. I inserted the actual video. I showed the video from them saying what they said i didn't i didn't come on here and quote what they said i inserted the actual video but i had a dude or two like he told told me hey man you know chill i've been rocking with you man but now i think you you know you don't like mexicans so it's sometimes man when people hear things about their people in a light that seems negative um they sometimes get in their feelings right but back to what i was saying i, I heard dub tell a story where and I inserted this into that video where the blacks took off on the Mexicans. I believe they was in Calipat. Five blacks stabbed the Mexicans or something like that. Because, you know, you hear rumors that blacks don't use knives and blah, 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 right? So anyway, in the course of this story, though, while, while Dubs is telling the story, he says, yeah, you know, you had, you had the blacks take off on some of the homies or something. Now I'm paraphrasing. Um, uh, you know, you had five blacks rush the homies and start stabbing them. A few of the homies took a couple of the knives from the blacks. Now, to me... 100 percent that sounded ludicrous you know that sounded ludicrous now it's extremely rare extremely rare for a person to get uh attacked out of the blue and to take a knife from the dude that's attacking you that's extremely rare i have heard about people uh getting stabbed and they will take the knife and so that's why you know you'll hear about uh well the couple of times i did what i did right i would have a string around the knife and I would have uh, a string also around my wrist wrapped around thoroughly so I could not lose the knife, you know. Um, when I hop on the boy's helmet up there in uh, in uh, uh, um, the two-yard, what, what prison was I in at that time? Corcoran, Sat F. I had definitely had the string around my knife tied around my wrist. This dude was a big brother. I could not stand for this dude to get a hold of that knife. If he had got a hold of that knife, it would have been ugly. So I have heard of times where people have had knives taken from them, right? Um, listen. I work with a dude, man, that done 17 or 18 years straight at Calipatria. I'm um, going interview him soon. He said consistently the blacks down there was ha not having any troubles with the uh, Mexicans. He said consistently the blacks was doing their business, right? They never had, they never came out on a loss. So everybody's experience is different. Like I tell you guys, right, I did 24 years straight. I never had any... I was never in any riots with the uh, with the Southsiders. I had a few standoffs, but never any riots. But uh, you can say what you want to say, right? But I, I take that to say as the yards that I was on, we had some strong brothers, and the Mexicans didn't want no problems. Obviously, we didn't necessarily want problems either, but that's a mutual respect, you know? That's a, a, a line of respect. Everybody knows that when you go to war, man, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be sometimes some, some casualties, maybe some, you know, some injuries, and sometimes it's not worth it. Sometimes it is, right? Um, it just, it just all depends, right? So, in, in my, and you know, I remember. Listen, you guys, you guys always hear, you guys always, and and this is what I, this is what I dislike a lot, right? Everybody think that a lot of times they want to think in absolutes, and when I say everybody, I'm talking about. The, specifically the Mexicans here you know or even sometimes the whites or people who've not been to prison you will hear something about what's supposed to happen in prison and you think in term in absolute terms of yeah that that happens like I had mentioned one time blacks uh did did business with Mexicans in prison I had a lot of people get on my page and said all oh, that can't be true Mexicans aren't supposed to uh do business with blacks well yeah they may not supposed to do business with blacks but they do, you know, you have, you have dudes in the Italian mafia, 
doing things that they're not supposed to do, which eventually leads to them getting killed. So just because a person is not supposed to do something don't mean he's going to do it. People aren't supposed to kill people or they wouldn't be in prison. So don't think in terms of absolutes. Everybody does that, right? So you always hear, you always hear that Mexicans always have knives in prison and so on and so forth, right? Well, on Dub's own page, Dub's told a story about a, I believe he was in Pelican Bay. And it was a dude from his 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 city or his area, not necessarily his hood. He got to prison and Dubs went and got at him and said, hey, man, now Dubs told this story himself. Dubs goes and gets at the dude and says, hey, man, you know, if you don't have a knife or you don't know how to make one, I'll get you one, so on and so forth. The dude told Dubs, hey, man, I don't need a knife, man. I know how to fight. I know how to sling him, man. This is Dubs' story that Dubs told. The dude tells Dubs, oh, man, listen, I don't need a knife, man. I don't want a knife. I know how to sling him. Uh, Dub says something in response. Well, okay, man, listen, if you don't want no knife, hey, that's you. Uh, you come outside, something jump off, and you don't got a knife. You have, you know, basically you're going to get dealt with. And Dub said he, he never talked to the dude. My point of saying that is you guys think everybody wants a knife, man, or everybody has to have a knife. Uh, in prison if, if they're if if they are Southsiders right maybe they're supposed to but man you got Southsiders trying to go home just like you got blacks trying to go home right so even if you so now even if that dude later on he felt that it would be in his best interest to have a knife was he really gonna use it or was he gonna go all out when he obviously didn't want the knife to begin with you know um being from a certain hood, being from a certain ethnicity does not give anybody superpowers, man. People are human, man. It's all about it's all about the ideology that a person chooses to have. If you feel it's best for you to have a knife, uh, then you're going to have one. You know, so if you feel like the knife is forced upon you, you're not going to use it because you're thinking about going home. You're thinking about doing this, you know. Um, keep in mind, man. Everybody that goes to prison is not a super gangbanger, man. People make mistakes, man. You have people who get into prison and they look around and they realize, man, I didn't effed up, man. Look, look what I didn't got myself into, man. I am trying to go home. You know, imagine going to jail, man, for two or three years and, and stabbing somebody and getting a life sentence. There's plenty of that running around, right? So just because a person goes to prison does not mean he wants to be there. Just because I had a life and they wasn't letting people out. Didn't mean I did not want to try to come home. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I'm going to handle my business. I'm going to do what I have to do. But just because I had life don't mean I don't want to come home. So, I mean, people get that misconstrued. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, in my opinion, uh, yes, Dubs has told some things that are contrary to what I would believe. But stranger things happen in prison. Dubs, you know, um, I told a story one time about uh, how the how the Southsiders and blacks came together in Salinas Valley because they kept taking our yard away. They kept taking our yard away, sending us, they would go out to yard 20 minutes later, yard recall, you know, and so you had a couple uh, Mexican dudes leave comments on my page, oh man, that's a lie. The Southsiders would never um, do anything with the blacks. But then you also had two Southsiders on my page said, man, yeah, I was there when that happened, man, and we once we went in we ended up getting our get back in he made it seem like they ended up doing something to the guards or whatever whatever right so all i'm saying is stranger things have happened man everybody that watches prison channels know that mexicans and blacks will not fight head up one-on-one -on -one, so on and so forth right dubs himself told a story about being at a prison where for whatever reason the dude on the yard who had a uh uh um a big voice with the uh, Mexicans did not want a riot to jump off for whatever financial reasons. And he agreed to let a Mexican have a head up fade with a black dude. Stranger things have happened in prison, man. People love to think with absolutes when there are no absolutes, man. So uh, it is what it is. Um, do I think Dubs is racist once again? No, not at all, man. No, not at all. Dubs has called and hit me out of the blue sometimes or text me with certain information he didn't even have to share with me or I didn't even ask him about. Uh, You know, he would just give me a heads up. If the dude was racist, man, he, the dude would not do that, right? Some people just, for whatever reason, have a strong bias. You know, let me, let me say this, man, in my opinion. Dubs is a team player. And Dubs played on a team, and he was a team player. Dubs was there trying to get a wing. You know, he was going hard. You know, you have dudes, you'll hear. You know, I, I use a lot of basketball analogies because I played basketball for a whole lot at one point in time. Man, Dubs was Kobe. 
on the, on the Lakers. Doug was working out. He was serious about getting his ring. Other dudes may have been Shaq. Other dudes may have been come in talking about, I'll just play my way. I'll play myself into shape, Kobe. Don't worry about it, Phil. By the middle of the year, I'll be ready. I'll get myself in shape during the course of the season. And so, you know, Doug was Kobe. He was ready. And you have dudes like that I've ran across, man. Let's talk about Damian Porter, man. Damian Porter without a question of a doubt is committed to his black race man i can listen to damien just his first video or two and tell damien is well read he has a strong love for his people i cannot i cannot fault him about that man just listen to damien speak i can tell damien at some point in time read some history books about the plight of black people and if you are black and probably if you're white too and you read about how blacks was treated you will definitely get angry you will definitely get upset when you understand the wickedness that was portrayed on black people man it was it's just so much wickedness that was done here in america on blacks man you know and so when you read all this type of stuff of course you become angry you become angry you become upset i remember one time i was into hatchaby i had a book it was called the slave whip days or excuse me it was maybe it was called the bull whip days and the book was about slavery and the book had this old black man sitting with his back it's a famous picture with his back to the camera and you've seen all these whips on his back where he had obviously been whipped by his masters there was a dude by the name of long beach sitting right there he said man i can't stand stuff like that okay and on one side of the book it was a black lady who had a white baby he said man i'll take that white baby and slam his head up against the wall and he meant it when you happen to see sometimes your people treated atrociously unfairly murdered raped maimed so on and so forth that is going to make you angry it is no question of a doubt that damien has read a lot of these books and he is he is very about his blackness and he is a hundred percent um he is a hundred percent pro-black but he also has a cool head so i mean prison has a way of making a person um get with the program man when you see what's going on up in prison and if you serious about your survival uh you have no choice sometimes but to you know you can be a hundred percent pro-black you can be a hundred percent pro uh southern rasa uh, uh, northerner, whatever, and not necessarily hate the people that you warn against, man. It's just, it is what it is, you know. It is what it is, man. So, uh, I just had to come and make that video. And like I said, I've been thinking of making this video for the longest, right? Last night, around 10 30, 11, I'm scrolling through my YouTube, right? And I happen to see this topic pop up, man. And I said, you know what? Okay, since Dub has put it out there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna speak on it. But I had been, I had been, um, contemplating on doing it because like i say i get a lot of people who ask me my uh my opinion on that and like i said no i don't believe dubs is racist is is he pro is he pro his race and all that stuff a hundred percent a hundred percent and sometimes prison i have a way of doing that to you don't forget like i said the analogy i use man you have some dudes who have sorry football teams sorry basketball teams and every year they believe their team is gonna win but that you're looking at the players you look at man, you know the Lakers can't win with these cats. You know the Lakers can't win with Davis getting hurt and falling down every time it's the playoffs. You know LeBron's big ass don't want to get up in that rack when he needs to. He has improved on his three-point shooting. But take your big ass to the rack. That's the problem I think people have with LeBron at certain times, man. For your height, your weight, and your athleticism, sometimes you want to settle for a long three-pointer. When, it, when it's nitty-gritty, when it's 10 seconds left and the score is 100-100, and you want to shoot a 33 footer instead of getting to the rack and trying to get fouled or trying to get a layup that's insane right you got these uh, uh players around you that are obviously not able to help you or carry you to a championship but you will have dudes laker fans who still believe it's gonna happen so that's all i'm saying man sometimes people will allow certain things to bias or influence the way they present themselves the way they talk the way they you know just put information out there so on and so forth right and sometimes that happens man but that's all up for you guys to make your opinion on that like i say i'm not here to try to sway you one way or another i'm giving you my opinion you know and i believe i've been in the streets hustling 
uh, selling dope, dealing with people, so on and so forth, man. If you ain't never dealt with a crackhead, uh, man, some of them crackheads have the slickest sayings, the slickest moves. So, you know, that, that helps your perception, man. And then also going to prison, you know, because I was extremely observant when I was in prison. Did a lot of people watching. Like I said, when I'm selling dope and I'm dealing with these scandalous ass, nefarious, dope smoking individuals who are twitching and itching to put some cocaine, cr some crack smoke in their lungs. Man, they had more, they had more game than a little bit. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, you know, I, I say all that to say that, man, I have, in my opinion, I have a very good um, judge of character when it comes to a person's character, right? And so, anyway, no, I do not believe Dubs is racist. But anyway, you already know what it is. It's your boy, 16 to life. Resume normal program.